Were you aware that the metformin that your mother is taking for her type 2 diabetes could be causing a vitamin B12 deficiency? And were you aware that a vitamin B12 deficiency can cause peripheral neuropathies, which is pain in the nerves of the hands and feet? By the end of this video, you will understand how to recognize the symptoms of B12 deficiency and how to prevent it. Good morning, health-minded people. I'm Dr. Snow, and over the years I've had thousands of patients that have been treated with an anti-diabetic medication known as metformin, also known under the brand name Glucophage. Metformin is the most common first-line medication used to treat type 2 diabetes in the United States and around the world. And although it has a few undesirable side effects, on the whole, it is a very safe and well-tolerated medication. However, it has been known since 2010 that metformin can interfere with the absorption of B12 from the digestive tract, leading to deficiencies. Studies have shown that 10% of all patients that have taken metformin for more than six years will have a vitamin B deficiency. This number goes up in the elderly and those who take large doses of metformin. Do you or your parents fall into either one of these categories? If you're on metformin, has your doctor ever checked your B12 levels? Take this poll to answer that question. So why is vitamin B12 deficiency such a big deal? B12 keeps nerve and blood cells healthy and functioning properly. It is also involved in making DNA, the genetic material that is responsible for telling every cell in your body what to do and how to do it. B12 deficiency can lead to pernicious anemia, which can leave you tired, weak, and dizzy. And if left untreated, it can lead to heart palpitations and shortness of breath. A person with low B12 levels can have constipation or diarrhea, gas, and loss of appetite. Extremely low levels of B12 can cause tingling in the hands and feet, trouble walking, and muscle weakness. It can also lead to vision loss, memory loss, depression, and other behavior changes. So you can see how important B12 is. And these deficiencies are very easy to treat. First, eat your B12. B12 is found in meat, chicken, fish, and eggs. Because of the decreased absorption caused by metformin, or if you're a vegan, you will need to take a B12 supplement. B12 supplements are found over the counter in oral and sublingual forms. If your B12 levels are very low, your physician may prescribe injections known as cyanocobalamin, which is just fun to say. B12 injections will bring up your levels quickly and should resolve issues quickly. But if the neuropathy has gone on too long, it may become irreversible, which is why it is so important to ask your doctor to check your B12 levels now. Diabetes itself may cause problems that are similar to B12 deficiency, so it is easy to overlook checking the B12 levels. Even if you have no symptoms of deficiencies and your B12 levels look good, you might discuss with your physician if a B12 supplement on a daily basis might prevent complications down the road. B12 supplements are relatively inexpensive. You can get a month's worth of B12 500 micrograms for about $8 if you're taking it daily. Always ask your pharmacist to recommend a good brand so that you know that you're getting a reliable product. And never, ever, ever stop taking your metformin or any other medication your physician has prescribed unless directed by your physician. As I said before, metformin is a very safe and effective medication for type 2 diabetes, so it is important to get your blood sugars to a normal level. And it is easy to prevent B12 deficiencies and complications. Do you have any questions about 
medications that can cause deficiencies? Leave your questions below. If you have found this information helpful, please press that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Also, hit that little bell so that you'll be notified every Monday when I post a new video that's designed to help you and your parents navigate this sometimes confusing healthcare system. To learn more about medications that can cause deficiencies in vitamins, minerals, and other substances, watch this video next. Thank you for joining me today to learn how metformin may be robbing you of vitamin B12 and how you can prevent it. Stay healthy, wash your hands, and have a blessed week.